Welcome back. And so when we last left off on Friday, we were halfway through laying up uh, the keel. So this is uh, Monday. We've got the peel ply off there. And so again, halfway through. So the first layers laid down and then the core was placed in and all bagged. So uh, the next step was to just uh, clean up the edges of the core there and start laying uh, the inside layers. So the first thing was to do is just basically put some more uh, um, double-sided sticky down for the bagging and then uh, put some uh, masking tape over that so it didn't get all messed up with resin. And then we started wetting down and uh, laying out the uh, fabric. So this was needed to be equivalent of eight plies. So it was going to be a, a layer of heavy equivalent to three plies and then a layer of medium, medium, which is equivalent to two, and then another layer of heavy. So basically three different layers that we were putting down. Really nothing out of the ordinary from what we've done before and little patches there over where we had to sort of, uh, you know, cut out where those bosses are, which basically made up with the floor braces. And um, that's basically about it. And the rest was just trimming and, and uh, making sure that, you know, when we're laying the um, fabric in that the ply is laid down uh, evenly and with the right spacing. Um, again, as I've said before, you know, we don't want to stretch it in any one direction and we have to sort of line it up um, longitudinally so um, it, you know, maintains the integrity of the part. So not uh, anything um, difficult, but just a little bit, I wouldn't say overly time consuming. I think it took us uh, the afternoon just to do this about three hours um, to lay this up. And, you know, just Jeff and I working on it while the other guys were um, busy working on uh, waxing the um, mold for the aft pressure bulkhead, which was actually just off to the left at the back of the camera here. And, uh, and there you go, you can see them actually in the background working on that now, they moved it. So um, actually they were working on two different things. But uh, anyway, so there we are putting down the, the peel ply. And that just, you know, obviously to allow the extra resin, any extra resin to sort of seep up through that so we can remove it. Because once, once you peel the peel ply off, the um, breather fabric, which is sort of on the next thing that goes down after the the um, perforated plastic um, that absorbs any extra resin and so when we peel the peel ply off um, any extra resin was in there that comes off comes off with that that white breather fabric that you can see there and so you know, ultimately the part ends up as light as it can possibly be and um, this one um, when we popped it ended up being uh, 33 pounds which I think is pretty decent for how big it is and uh, uh, the fact that it has core in it and a little bit of uh, FR4 in there where the steering mechanism goes through there right at the at the top on the front so here we are putting the bag in there and um, put putting it under vacuum and here's the finished product here as you can see and got a nice uh, good seal on that one and uh, vacuumed down really nicely so nothing uh, no problems with that one and as you can see just the right amount of resin kind of coming through um, into the breather fabric there and here's just a little side project of actually uh, mounting these uh, drill bushings for the gear into the lower um, pressure bulkhead that meets that mates up with the keel. And of course, we're putting those onto the actual mold, and then we can drill those through and drill them directly into the part. Uh, we haven't done that yet. You'll see that coming up. And there's the keel popped out this morning. And again, just rough, not even trimmed off yet, just sort of put in place there. And uh, once it's all trimmed off and that will be fitting nicely but it's uh, sitting fairly well in there even without the trim work done so we're pretty happy with that so you really see we're starting to put together all the parts of the fuselage now so here's the drill bushing thing um, going on again and this is on the uh, aft bulkhead so there's four of those to go on there and one is and one on either side for the upper gear mounting and then uh, one on either side for the lower and so today uh, we all also decided to lay up the mold for the overhead console. And so here we are at the end of, or just before lunch, uh, with the black um, base coat laid down. And then this is the afternoon laying up the actual first part of the mold. So 
we did the um, the cabba cell around the edges of where the um, the wax profile was, and this is the last one that we already had the wax profile on, so we won't be using that anymore. But um, this one had already been done. So now we're putting down the first layer of, or the actual layer of lightweight um, fiberglass. And this material being pretty fine and that it doesn't really conform as well as some of the carbon fiber. So we have to lay it in pieces and it takes quite a while uh, to get it down. I'm gonna make sure there's no bubbles under it or anything like that. So you see there's a lot of work going back and forth and just, you know, with a brush, basically working any bubbles out from underneath of it and uh, getting it all nice and smooth. We, we don't want to have any bubbles because once we put these parts in an oven, if we or these molds in an oven, um, if we decide to, to do that, um, any bubbles in there will basically expand and cause the mold um, you know, to have um, a failure. So it's, it's pretty uh, important to make sure we get all those bubbles removed. So anyway, that's... Uh, Put the first part of this laying that down and then we switched over to laying uh, the carbon first lightweight carbon layer so we're getting in a, kind of a routine now of being able to get the um, first part um, so the black top coat and then um, the fiberglass layer and then the two layers of carbon fiber done in the first day and then in the morning the next day we usually finish off um, putting the heavy layers of carbon fiber and that seems to work out well for us in terms of timing and we're not rushed and we're not you know having to work way past the end of the day um, so it's kind of a good logical point to stop after we've got the second layer of, uh, of carbon fiber down so nothing uh, really out of the order on ordinary on this one a um, little bit of detail work because of the bosses there and and uh, there was quite a lot of flange area on this one for actually how big the part is but um, you know nothing too difficult and so we just sort of pushed on through that at a nice pace and actually it was nice to get this one done because it was a long time ago when we first started milling uh, the mold or the plug for this one and it obviously it had some changes back when we uh, adjusted the flange height on there um, so it was nice to to finally get it to this point and um, you know by tomorrow We'll have it finished off and then it won't be too long after that and we'll actually be able to lay up that part and here you can see we're just getting the peel ply finished off and so there is uh, the finished product so tomorrow that peel ply will come off and we'll be putting uh, three layers of uh, heavy carbon down and then some bracing on that uh, to, to hold that when it's tipped over so we can lay it up without it moving on the table and finally, here's a look at the, the keel with it mostly trimmed off and uh, everything's fitting super nice. A uh, couple more little minor adjustments to make uh, just where the flanges are, where it's fitting there up against uh, the forward bulkhead. But uh, really happy with how well things are fitting there, especially given that um, the fuselage was the, is the key component here and that was cut earlier on when uh, we didn't have our machine dialed in as accurate as we could have uh, but you know super happy with how well everything's fitting and it's really starting to look like something so anyway that's our update for the first half of this week thanks for watching